Let's talk about it. Hello, my YouTube world. This is Johnny Mo. We are going to come and we're going to talk about the ICD deck. And here it is. Johnny, I can't get my ICD deck to cut. It just stinks. You lied. You don't know what you're talking about. You're a bumbling fool. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to do an official video of what I do and why I like the ICD deck so much that I keep going back to it. And I've narrowed my search down to possibly two decks. Now, my sources tell me that they are in the midst of an upgrade on the ICD deck. I cannot confirm it, but I have heard that there is a possibility of an ICD deck upgrade coming out, which I think they need one. I think if they went to a 5.5 inch depth deck, I think that would, that would help out things a lot. The biggest problem that you have with mowers that are throw and goes like this is this wide opening excretes a lot of air. And what I mean by that is you got a lot of air moving around, so you need a lot more suction to get the, to move that grass from each chamber and out that big opening. The smaller the opening, the more pressure that can be built up in the deck and the further it can throw. The smaller the opening also creates a lot of lift and suck suction so it can suck up that grass. So when you understand that, in order for them to get the lift that they need, they had to go with a wider thin blade so let's start with the basics what i do to get the icd deck to perform the way i need it to is the first thing i do is i put 15 pounds of pressure in the rear my front are my front are uh flat free so i don't have to worry about it the next thing i do is i level the deck with one of these i put the deck the blades perpendicular to each other i measure the fronts the back has to be a quarter inch high. So I put this in 3.3 and a half inches on the thing. I then measure the front to see if it's at three and a half. Now, sometimes you, you, you're not gonna get it at three and a half. You might get a mower that says three and a quarter. So then you gotta adjust your, your, your dial up there. So if you know your front's sitting at three and a quarter, you're not gonna be able to get a quarter inch off the fronts, on both fronts. It's just gonna make the deck Cali Wonka when you try to do a quarter inch in the front and then you'll probably have to do another quarter inch in the back. There's just not enough travel in that those front pieces. So you loosen this jam nut and then you can move it up and down. Now eighth of an inch, you'll get that much travel on each side, that's fine, but you're not gonna get it at three and a half. So if it came from the factory and you got it at three and a half on, on the dial up there and it's measuring three and a quarter, it's gonna be three and a quarter. So three and a quarter in the front and you will be at uh, an eighth, a quarter inch in the back. So the backs need to be at three and a half. So three and a half, the three and a quarter. Now, if you can't get the backs up to three and a half, as long as you're above an eighth, it, it's fine. You don't have to get so, so geeked out about it. As long as you can get the back up higher, the minimum is an eighth, the maximum is a quarter. I like to run it at a quarter, and I usually get it about a quarter. So... The fronts need to be a quarter inch below the back. So I put in the front, see what the front measurements are. Put in the front, see what the front measurement. Then I'll then I'll do the fronts. Then I'll go to the back, and then I'll go to the back, and then I'll mess around with the back. And once that's set, it's set. The only problem I've had with Ferris products is the decks always seem to get off three or four times a year. I don't know why. My Toro does not do that. Um, this mower has been good. I've only had to set it twice. And I set it twice within a week. So uh, another thing you want to do is don't just go on your garage floor and just start doing it. Look at this. you got a crack here. This side's higher than this side. So if I were to do my deck now, it would be Cali Wonka. So you got to find, I do mine right there or I do it on the basketball court I built for my kids in the back lawn. So this is a flat surface. I measure it with the the four foot level and I find the flattest surface. It's not gonna be absolute perfect, but you don't have to worry about that as long as you're within those marks. Find the flattest surface you can. Start with the tires. Make sure you have the amount of pressure that's needed in all four tires. So after that's done, we then go to the blade solution. In the spring and the fall, I go to a smaller lift blade. This is what comes stock on the ICD deck. 
because of the large opening, this is what they did to create enough suction because you have that huge opening and a lot of air escapes that. So what they had to do is create this larger fin. This larger fin in the fall and the spring is rough on you because it throws a lot of clumps, especially in wet grass. It just holds the grass underneath the deck so much longer. So I only use these from about June 15th till about September. And then I put these back on. I use these from about April 15th all the way to about June 15th and from September till the middle of October. The small fin blades. Right now, Ballard, I got a set of these off Ballard and they work really great. So you can call up Ballard. You can go search their website. Right now, the 52 inch seems to be out. This is the main issue with the cutting quality. If you're only using this blade, it's going to be a problem. Now, in the summertime, you will need this blade because it, these blades will not, they just don't have enough oomph to lift that pressed down grass to lift it up and cut it. Again, same thing with wet grass. When you're cutting wet grass in the morning, sometimes this will press it down and by this doesn't have enough lift and cut to bring it all back up and cut it. So that is the major issue with the ICD. This is how I is how I do it. Now, from the middle of October till the end of the year, till April 15th, I run the Oregon G5 Gator Blades. That's how I do the ICD deck. That it, it works perfect for me. Give that a try. Check the tire pressure. Check the deck level. Make sure the deck is within specs and then mess with your blade configuration. I get this question, so, John, I, my, my, my ICD deck stinks, you lie, you don't know what you're talking about, you're a bumbling idiot, you're solo, what do you know about business, blah, blah, blah. Well, after 24 years, I, I think I know a little bit about business, but when it comes to the ICD deck, it is one of my favorite decks, it's not the most perfect deck, and this is, this is a reason why I still look at other issues. I mean, think of all the blades I have to buy. I have, this comes stock. Then I have to buy a set of these and have an extra set of these just to cut grass with it. But I will say that with this set of blades on it on the, in the fall and in the spring, man, is it cut really good. And, you know, the summertime, this cuts good. It's drier. Um, you don't have to do a lot of double cutting. It's no big deal. Uh, and, and with the ICD deck, with this blade on in the spring, I always feel I can get out of a mess. And, and if you've been cutting grass for many years, you know what I mean when you're a side discharger. I don't feel like there's a mess I can't clean up with these. I cannot say that about the Toro in the spring. There are messes that require, you know, maybe a side bagger or you got a triple cut. There are some times that you get yourself in a situation, mainly in a wet, dewy, high fertilized lawn, you get yourself in a situation where uh, you feel like you can't get out of it. But I've never felt that way with an ICD deck using these blades. Never ever have I felt that way. So I'm a very big fan of the ICD deck. I, I think it's a great deck. I think that they can make it even better um, by just deepening it up. Now, I don't know what that'll do to the suction. I don't know what that'll do to blade configuration. But as it stands right now, the ICD deck is in my top three favorite decks of all time. And if I could only choose one deck and I couldn't use any other deck to use, I would actually choose the ICD deck with this blade configuration because it does cut better in wet grass than the X-Mark and the Toro. Um, not that those can't do it, it just it cuts better, especially with this blade configuration. Now, if you got this blade configuration on in the spring and it's wet grass, it could be one of the worst decks out there, actually. So I have to say that um, with these blades on, spring grass, ooh, it's a rough one. This, these are pretty bad. These are actually, this will actually cause you some frustrations. Put this on, spring and fall, check it out, see what you think of it. When you're mulching up leaves, grass isn't grown as much, end of the year, this is the way to go. All right, guys, that's my time. If you have any more questions, uh, this is how I get the ICD deck to perform the way I want it to. Um, a lot of people keep asking me, like, oh, Johnny, I just can't, it stinks, it's terrible. 
Try it out. See what you think. I've had a lot of people try these blades and said it fixed my life. So that's my time. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.